The roar of a single jet engine can reshape the skies. A single propulsion upgrade can redefine what a fighter can do. In Sweden, the Gripen E-F's engine isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a leap. It promises more than speed, more range, more payload, more autonomy. What lies under the intake matters. What powers the Gripen E-F could determine not just tactical success, but strategic influence. So what exactly makes this engine so special? Let's peel back the metal cowling, explore the mechanics, the design, the trade-offs, and see how one engine might shift the balance in modern air warfare. The Saab Gripen E-F, otherwise known as Gripen Next Generation, represents Sweden's cutting-edge fighter offering. Central to its performance is the GE F414G-F414G39E turbofan engine, a powerhouse that dramatically upgrades the previous generation's capabilities. As nations across the globe demand fighters that are cheaper to maintain, capable of networked warfare, and less dependent on outside constraints, the Gripen E-F's engine is not just hardware, it's a statement. In what follows, we'll examine what sets this engine apart, its specs, its advantages over predecessors, the trade-offs, and why exactly many air forces are watching it closely. Technical Specification and Comparison what special capabilities it enables, operational and strategic impacts, limitations and trade-offs, technical specification and comparison. The F414G produces about 98 kilonewtons, is almost equal to 22,000 pounds, of thrust with afterburner. By comparison, the earlier engine used by Gripen C-D, the RM-12, a licensed, modified version of GE's F404, had roughly 80 to 81 knots in its highest afterburner rating. That's roughly a 20 to 25% increase in thrust. This extra power matters for carrying more fuel, heavier weapons loads, for better climb rates, acceleration, and speed. Super Cruise Capability one of the most important features that the new engine enables is Super Cruise, the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburner. That's significant because afterburners burn massive amounts of fuel, generate high thermal and acoustic signature, and limit time aloft. Gripen E with the F414G is reported to achieve Mach 1.1 Super Cruise while carrying a realistic air-to-air -air combat payload. Fuel capacity and range. The Gripen E has greater internal fuel capacity than earlier models. More thrust plus more fuel gives extended range, especially on transit or patrol missions, or when carrying external stores. While exact combat radius depends heavily on loadout and mission profile, estimates for ferry or transit range are significantly improved over earlier Gripens. Improved efficiency and maintenance. The newer engine architecture includes advancements such as a more capable high-pressure turbine, improved compressor stages, and improved cooling and airflow in the fan, drawing on lessons learned in the F404-F414 line. The Full Authority Digital Engine Control FADEC, software has also been adapted for the Gripen to improve single-engine safety and supercruise operation. Payload and Hardpoints because of more available thrust, the Gripen E-F can carry more weapons, heavier payloads, more fuel-slash-fuel tanks, under the new hardpoints, 10 in number, without sacrificing performance. The engine upgrade isn't just numbers. It unlocks new abilities that older Gripen models didn't have or had only weekly. Greater weapons flexibility. Larger payload options, more hardpoints, ability to carry heavier missiles, more fuel tanks, etc. means more flexibility in selecting mission types. Air-to-air, -air, ground attack, air support, long patrols. Improved operating economics. If engine efficiency is better, improved specific fuel consumption in non-afterburning flight, more durable components, then cost per flight hour drops. For many air forces, this is a crucial factor, not just can it fight, but can we afford to fly it often and sustain it? Covering 2025 to 2030, force multiplier in smaller fleets. Because of the higher performance per aircraft, fewer jets might be needed to achieve the same mission effects. That is, smaller air forces can do more with less. Adaptability in contested environments. Given the increasing importance of electronic warfare, suppression of enemy air defenses, and sensor, radar, IR, threats, 
Having an engine that supports systems without drastically compromising speed or detectability is key. Extended service life and future upgrades. The F414 line is well tested in the F-A, 18, etc., with lots of flight hours behind it. Upgrades, like enhanced durability or enhanced performance variants, are in development or exist. This means Gripen's engine path isn't static, it can evolve. Limitations and trade-offs. No innovation is perfect. The F414G slash F414G39E brings its own set of challenges. Single engine risk. Gripen is a single engine fighter. While that simplifies some logistics, it means if the engine fails, the aircraft has no backup. So reliability must be very high. The older RM12 demonstrated strong reliability records, but new engines always carry risks in early years. Fuel consumption and loiter time. High thrust often comes with higher fuel burn in afterburner or during high performance maneuvers. Even with super crews, when pushed hard in combat scenarios, consumption will climb. Thus, mission planning must account for fuel reserves and external fuel tanks or air-to-air -air refueling may still be needed. If this dive into the power behind Sweden's Gripen E slash F got your gears turning, smash that like, share with anyone who nerds out about engines and fighters, and subscribe for more deep dives into what gives modern military tech its edge. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next video, because when it comes to air power, the devil and the advantage is in the details.